Hello everyone, it's been a while. I thought I'd do a quick video of my pre-Christmas present, present, which was meant to be my Christmas present, but I couldn't wait that long. Um, so it's a Tiny SA, which has been doing the rounds. And um, I have my current setup transmitting whisper at the moment. I'm pushing out about 4 watts by the looks of it, which I could probably push that up a little bit more. As I've said, I'm transmitting 5 there we go, 5 watts. Um, and I just have the uh, antenna stub off my field strength meter plugged into the tiny SA. And as you can see, I've got the waterfall display running there. I'm sweeping 5 to 15 meg. And um, I'm picking it up inside my shed. So if I wander to the door, it probably will get stronger. Actually, that's probably, in that's probably RF inside the shed, actually. Looking at that. Now I've moved away from the transmitter. Let's move a bit closer. Yeah, <laughs> I got some RF leakage here. And there's the there's the feed line. Let's see how if we can get closer to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaking some RF. Anyway, let's go outside. I like the waterfall display. That's very neat. So I should be able to come out here. And there's my transmission. I won't walk too close to it because um, the sun is out and. Um, it will be very hard to see the display as it is now. As you can see, that's pretty neat. It's certainly a very advanced uh, advanced field strength meter and should let me get my linear amplifier working, which it sounds like it's just stopped transmitting. Yes, it has. And the signal has now gone. Anyway, I haven't done a video for a while. Figured I'd do a quick one. Um, as you can see, there's lots of RF doodads on my desk at the moment that I'm building. Um, it's all sort of junk. Uh, here's the here's the basis for the SDR, which I've got to put some of these these modules into. Um, I've got it all sort of working now, um, but everything's sort of all over the place. Um, here's my linear amplifier that needs a needs. Uh, that's the reason why I bought the SA because I think it's got an oscillation problem or something going on. So now I can actually check it and get it to work. So that'll be good. Anyway, Merry Christmas everyone and hope you have a happy and safe New Year.